morning YouTube you know the name you know the face how's everybody doing today well a little bit of news feeds came in today and I saw something sent in uh, posted by a woman named Sandra and I hope I get this right Krokowski I think it's Krokowski that's how it's spelled but uh, she posted a video of Candace Owens giving up and, and preaching uh, the Republican Party uh, very moving speech. If you guys haven't had a chance, check it out. Candace Owens, the truth they don't want you to know or the truth that they're hiding. Uh, a lot of people don't realize right now with our political uh, movements nowadays, uh, it's a lot of poop slinging. It is what it is. They're slinging poop. No one's covering the real topics. Uh, but that's what's going on right now. So you gotta, you got to watch, unfortunately... They, they get drug out. But you at least get 15, 20 minutes in on some of these uh, um, live rallies and uh, gatherings. Might be able to get a better picture of things. I don't know if anybody saw my uh, commercial for the channel on Facebook, but I, I debunked the whole mask protecting you from viruses thing. So if you guys get a chance, check it out. I thought it was pretty funny, but then again, you know. Like British comedy, you got to be drunk to understand it. Uh, so today, ladies and gentlemen, I want to cover the 11th Amendment of our Constitution. Now, the 11th Amendment is uh, it's kind of a little bit of a, like a contradiction. Not so much, but uh, it states that, and uh, well, keep in mind, this was passed by Congress on March 4th, 1794. And it was ratified by the states on February 7th of 1795. Okay. It, it restricts the abilities of an individual to bring lawsuits against the state on a federal level. And a lot of people are like, well, what does that mean? Well, it boils down to a couple factors. One, I live in the state of Alabama, so I have no legal right to say, like, maybe I hit a pothole and broke the axle in my car while I was in Montgomery, Georgia, or somewhere, you know? Just an example, okay? I cannot sue the state of Georgia because I am not a resident of that state. It also states, though, that an individual living in that state, and I'm not joking, look it up, it's there. You cannot sue your state on a federal level without permission from that state. Odd, isn't it? Now, I'm not saying that uh, you can't do that. That's where it comes into uh, peaceful protests and doing petitions. Um, if enough people in masses had petitioned against a certain state and brought it to a grand jury, then it would automatically be considered by the state to hear the people out. Uh, back to a piece I was doing earlier about the uh, former uh, Supreme Court Judge Moore, uh, the Justice Moore, when he went after Kay Ivey. You notice he didn't go after the state of Alabama. He just went after Ivey herself and her Congress people. Why? Because the protection of the 11th Amendment. For a lot of people who don't know how to do petitions, it's, it's kind of difficult you know, to get out there and, and get your voices heard, there's a website that can help you guys. And that is www.capitalmmoveon.org. And uh, what that does, it would, it would explain and describe to you how to write a uh, legalized petition, have it written properly, give you the support groups, help you get the tools. Uh, it's a it's a good piece of information to have. So that's www.moveon.org. Now, if you guys are going to start a petition, your best bet is to keep close tabs on what's going on in your area. And a website that uh, is very good for that, a reliable source, is at uh, legiscan.com. That's www.legiscan.com. Dot com. Legiscan.com covers all bills and laws being passed federally, statewide, 
right down to your counties and cities. I mean, it's got a lot of information on there, and it's got a lot of uh, reading in there. Uh, but it'll have all the laws and bills that are trying to be passed in your area. Uh, and this is this is the most important part about politics, ladies and gentlemen. This is the part that we, the people, need to get involved in, and that is the bills and the legislations that are being passed. Uh, and I said a hundred times, this is going to keep getting worse if we don't stand up. Um, they're already reconsidering the uh, mandates on the masks because uh, Lisa Haven over at Restricted Recovery, re sorry, Restricted Republic, covered uh, where the C CDC and the WHO accidentally, yes, they accidentally posted a statement admitting that the COVID was, in, in fact, a flu strain. And, uh, of course, after she had uh, pointed that out and brought it up on their website, because it was on the CDC's website, uh, they were forced to take it down. Uh, not restrict the Republic, but the CDC. So, you know, they're still playing the slinky game with this virus. And it's all connected to politics at this point. Uh, I, I try my best to, to give information as quickly and simply as possible, but I've been getting some feedback, and um, I'm going to try to get more and more into detail. Uh, next week, I'm going to try to do a live show to cover our 12th Amendment rights. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, get with an actual uh, political member locally. I don't know if I'm going to choose Rainsville or Fort Payne. I'll let you guys know on my Facebook, so keep an eye on that feed. We're going to try to go live because I want to get more people interactive with us, you know, see who's out there, see what concerns you guys have. So on that note, I have a question for all you out there. I want to see if you all can answer me. The correct answer will get mad props. Uh, that's all I could do for right now. Maybe as time goes on, we could increase it. But I want you guys to answer me this. Who said this? And I quote, freedom is never more than one generation away from being extinct. We did not pass it on to our children through the bloodstream, and it needs to be fought for, protected, and handed down to them to do the same. Let me know who quoted that statement, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to hear from you guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. I want to get involved with you guys. Try to make this a better place for all of us to live in. And if you like what I'm saying, hit that notification bell. Hit a like. That way, you know, you guys could get involved and we'll have this chit-chat later on. Who knows? But this is a segment of the show where I try to promote local businesses. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of people out there that like the name brand products. Okay, and I'm always telling everybody, avoid, avoid filtering money into our corporate overlords. Uh, but there's ways around that, ladies and gentlemen. Did you know that all products have a sell-by date? If they do not sell from that sell-by date, they are removed. Now, some of them can go back and be refurbished. Others do not. Well, these get donated. Okay, so... If you still want your name brands, you need to check out stores that cover those name brands at discount price, like Ollie's in Scottsboro, Alabama. And I do believe there's other Ollie's in Alabama. Uh, they're a private-owned franchise group, and uh, they sell name brand stuff at very reasonable prices. Uh, why spend $17 on, on a specific item because you know it works and it's a name brand when you can go and spend 6 or $7? So check out Ollie's. And as always, two peas in a pod in Fife, Alabama. They cover everything from clothing to tools to uh, electronics. So uh, I've given you guys mad props before, but go see Dylan and Miss Susie. I am tired of butchering your last name, so you're a Miss Susie from now on. I hope that's okay, ma'am. Uh, They'll hook you up with anything, and they have a layaway program with us getting close to holiday season and with, with people limited on income at this critical point in American history. Go see Susie and Dylan over at Two Peas in a Pod. Now, rest of Northeast Alabama. 
everybody knows in Alabama, you can be the cleanest person in the world. But if you're surrounded by pine trees or you have water plumbing coming into your house, you have a high risk of getting pests. It's standard. It doesn't mean you're a dirty person. It's just we are at a climate in Alabama to where insects thrive and rodents thrive. And it's real easy for them to get into your home. Right now, there is a company in Rainsville called Safe Solution Plus. They're uh, very eco-friendly. They work with you. They have a great budget program. If you guys are starting to notice an increase in pests in your home or fighting the battle of pests in your home, go see the staff at Safe Solutions Plus Pest and Termite Control. And you can reach them at 256-638-7378. These guys are wonderful, and like I said, they'll work with you. And they're a private-owned business, ladies and gentlemen. They're not these big corporate organizations that's going to charge you $120 a month. They have very reasonable rates for the common citizen. I've said it 100,000 times before, ladies and gentlemen. This is our country. This is where we stand, and our Constitution is under attack. And if we do not stand up as a group and we keep fighting over these petty differences, we are going to lose our Constitution. I don't want that. Y'all don't want that. We all want our children to have the same freedoms that we have. So let's stand up. Let's do what we can, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let's make this country number one in the spotlight again. We used to be sought out for freedom. Now we're a laughing stock. I don't want to go down being a laughing stock. Do you? Well, to all my patriots out there, rock on. <clears throat> I got to give uh, props to JD. Uh, he sent me the most hilarious of uh, photos today. And uh, it states, and this is just humor, guys. It states, and I quote, If you only know half of my story, then you best keep your mouth shut. But if you do know all my story, you're an accomplice and you're best to keep your mouth shut. So, my patriots, I salute y'all. Rock on. I'll see y'all next week.